All Mine by Zara Hicks. This is a story about food and a few animals. You will probably recognize a few elements of food that we spoke throughout the year, but not all. So we have as the main characters a mouse, right? A gray mouse. And here on the side, we have a bird. Mm, I don't know what kind of bird it is, but let's say for now is a bird. And in the middle here, we have a bag of chips, right? And the bag of chips is called All Mine, which is the name of the book. Mm, so here we have the bird still. We don't know what it is. And we have mouse that is carrying something in this little brown bag. Mm. The brown bag looks maybe like a sandwich bag. Let's see. Right? So we still have the little brown bag. Oh, like the one that we use for uh, the old lady that swallowed the fly puppet. It looks a little bit like that. Four jewels. He's extremely good at sharing. Huh? So mouse is a he, right? It's a male mouse. It's a boy mouse, right? And it says that it's very good at sharing. Huh? It's not selfish. It's very generous. And the book here, it's called All Mine, right? It was lunchtime. Oh, we know what animal it is. It's a seagull, right? Remember lunchtime? Dine, right? It was lunchtime. Mouse was about to tuck into a sandwich when... Excuse me, that's my lunch, all mine. Oh, the seagull stole the lunch. All mine. It's not nice to snatch, and it's bad manners to speak with your mouth full, you know. So, the pas de bonne manière. You stole my lunch, right? And you speak with your mouth full. Huh? Off Mouse went to find some more food. Look at the seagull is full. Seagull followed. Look on top of the... Excuse me, those are my grips. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. You are very greedy and you're very rude. If you asked politely, perhaps I might have shared my grips with you. So... Pas gentil, hein? Pas poli, right? Rude, greedy, gourmand. And uh, it should have asked before it took the lunch, right? Tu dois demander la permission quand même, hein? Pas prendre les choses comme ça. Mouse was still hungry. Hmm? Look at the little house. So was Seagull. I can't believe Seagull is still hungry after it stole two lunches, right? Mouse goes inside the little house. <sighs> Seagull follows. Cake! Mine! All! Mine? Oh, look at 
this animal. It looks like a fox. I think that seagull is very scared, right? He cannot even put the pig inside the cake. Because he's scared of the big animal, the big fox. Please don't eat me. Mm. Look how scared it is. So terrified. Huh? Look at the big teeth of the fox. Ready to eat Mr. Seagull. The seagull is running away because it thought it was a true fox. But Mouse trick tricked him. Huh? It wasn't a, a real fox. It was a cardboard painted fox. Right? Ha! Tee hee hee! Anyone for cake? Awesome! Yes, please! Yum! Oh, cake! I look at the big family of mice. They're all gonna have that pretty nice cake. And when the party is over, what do we do? We clean up and we put down all the decorations, right? And then what? When our tummy is full, we fall asleep. So Mouse is not hungry anymore. Huh? It went to sleep because now he's eaten a big piece of cake. Right? I hope you enjoyed the story today. And... Uh, I hope you like to learn a lesson that is good to always ask before taking something from somebody else. A seagull was it nice and mouse was willing to share, but seagull was not willing to ask. So that is the lesson of the story. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon next time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.